Hey, what's up, team? This is Eddie Gray, and we're covering Guitar Rig 6. This is a long-awaited arrival of a very popular plugin that really revolutionized the game when it first came out, and now I'm here to cover it today. So, this is the first time that I've opened it. You can see that we've got presets laid out on the left-hand side. The newly designed GUI looks absolutely incredible. Uh, on top of presets, uh, it looks like you can decide which input sources you would like to affect. So let's just say you're on a mix bus or you know you want to treat a synthesizer so it's no longer just for guitars. In fact, I would hear about several producers using this for drum treatment or vocal treatment. Um, so it looks like you have the kind of native instruments staple complete control workflow where you can designate a tab and find exactly what you're looking for so if you're looking for something that's colored dissonant maybe um, and maybe what I'll do is I'll hold shift or is it command yeah so I can find and collect different groups and then after the character, I'll find the amplifiers that I'm looking for. So citrus would be like the orange. Uh, here's a Marshall. And so, you know, you get different uh, simulations for amplifiers. Which genres are you working in? And finally, which artist? So check that out. They even went into the world of having artists uh, laid out. So if I just use the characteristics here is the preset creamy snowflake Let's go through some more presets. Here's Atmo Rotator. All right, heavy. Okay, so you can have a limiter on here just in case the signal goes past the um, the output and you may want to watch your gain staging on your input the gate is up here so if you want to make sure that you get that nice tight professional sound enable this and set it to where it works best for your song I find that one of the best features is what's called the preset volume where essentially you can find a blend between the fully wet or mixed version and then the dry version. So let's say you like this sound, but you just you think it's too intense and you want to back off. Well, here you go. You can use this. All right, cool. So that sounds really nice. Uh, let's keep going. Let's try matched box. Let's see what this sounds like. Alright, here's deep grain.
obviously you don't just have to treat guitars you can treat bass as well a lot of great stuff here let's check out double citrus <laughs> So I want to search for something more ambient. So let's just see what we have here. Let's check this out. <laughs> Alright team, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I love Guitar Rig 6. Um, so many different options available here. Love that you can access the macros right from the front screen. You've got this tape deck which you can record ideas into, uh, which is a nice way to track ideas. Um, looks like there's a metronome on deck and a tuner, so that's really nice. So you can practice definitely need to practice with a uh, a metronome that's for sure uh, let's see here you got the post tape deck uh, which comes after all the effects which makes sense that they would include one at the end there and then this paper clip is the global effects so um, looks like there's presets already selected just in case you want to do something uh, on a global scale and you can also save uh, effects as well nice so uh, overall a great win I can't believe they have so many different effects units here I'm absolutely blown away just by the myriad of possibilities so much to learn so much to do uh, if I get a chance, I will go through a manual read-through. I was looking for the manual, but could not actually find it at this time. Um, I guess there it is right there. All right, so um, if you're interested in seeing that, hit me up in the chat. Uh, go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys on the next run. All right, guys, take it easy. Talk soon. Bye.